we're getting ready for the closing part where we're looking for what we're looking forward to 2010. What are we looking for in 2010? Oh. Kevin, what are you looking for? What are we looking forward to? First off, Chris Claremont's X Men Forever. What? This is this is as if Chris Claremont never left X Men in the early 90s when the series he started when he did three issues. <laughs> I've been staying away from all Chris. Well, Claremont's normally I do that. Our recent stuff with Claremont is not very good. He gets fired very quickly from most because he's not any good at it. But this one, it's his own direction, his own continuity. There's no issues. It's it's what he would want to do. I love this mainly because this keeps him away from books that would have been good if he never touched them. Oh. Chris Claremont single-handedly ended two great books in The Exiles and Excalibur. Books that a lot of writers worked on to make very good. He screwed them over. Everyone stopped reading, and they got canceled. Screw Claremont for doing that. Keep him with this. Don't let him touch anything in continuity. Let him have his little fantasy land. Yeah. His own fantasy Ooh. land. Stop hurting Blink. And Stop hurting Nightcrawler. To, to give him a little bit of credit, <laughs> I feel like i got to jump in here. Claremont's always had phenomenal ideas for story arcs. Uh, Dark Phoenix Saga, Days yeah. of the Future Past. He had some phenomenal story arcs throughout the X-Men run. Somebody else should write them as soon as he's done formulating those ideas. They should steal them from him and give them to somebody who can write you know, a script. Yeah, you know, I think I think the issue is that he seems to forget at times, and I love him. I mean, I kind of jumped on the comics with Chris Claremont because I started reading the X-Men in the 90s, like, just sort of, sort of as he was trailing off. And I still love that stuff. But for some reason, like, he can't, like, he doesn't remember that there's a visual component to comic books. Yeah. Like, like he just that, needs to like, stop. I just put a word balloon he, he doesn't have to have a hard panel. He, he doesn't he have to have a hard on for Psylocke and, uh, Sage. Sage. He needs to have, he needs to have, like, a screen, a script writing teacher standing over his shoulder the entire time. Stop it! Screaming, stop touching Stop screaming, else. show it, don't tell it! Show it, don't tell it! Show it! Show it! Show it! Show it. Oh, moving on, Dave, what are you looking forward to 2010? <laughs> Um, I guess, I, you know, this was actually pretty hard for me. I don't know. There's, uh, there was so much stuff that went on this last year that was so, uh, super exciting. I don't know, maybe, maybe more Super God. I know I'm the only oh. one here at the end of Frost. Oh, As Frost yeah. continues. Yeah, so yeah. Really good stuff. Yeah. That too. Good stuff. Um, but I guess, so sort of the ends of series that I've really enjoyed thus far, I, you know, that's, that's about where I have to go with it. Maybe more Phonogram. I really like oh. Phonogram too. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're Sarah, what are you looking forward to then? Well, will you hold that up, please, Kevin? Oh, oh really? Can I say Hulk? I don't look. I, like, I'm not looking forward to Fall of the Hulks. Right. I'm looking forward to Fall of the Hulks. Oh, damn. I'm looking forward to it. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know you're shocked. Right, Jeff Loeb's coming! I know you're shocked. It's Greg Pak, too. Oh, oh that's right. Is Ramita drawing him? I, want to talk about I love that. it. I love it so much. But I like the soft hands. Connected to it. Sausage hands. <laughs> they sometimes accentuate a book. Yeah, they really Dr. turn me on. Actually, as big as the Hulk. Yeah, totally. Totally as big. Yeah. No, I'm excited to see what's going to happen because Greg Pak is still behind the wheel, and he Jeff Loeb's stuff on Hulk recently has been really phenomenal. I'm excited so for it. Not lying. I'm not gonna lie about it. I'm excited for it. It's awesome. a great time to be a Hulk fan. Awesome. Yeah, I'm Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah. Good stuff. Right yeah. Uh, what? Dan, what are you looking for? My name's Dan. I know what your name is. Dan, what are you doing? Charlie! Charlie! Charlie, what are you doing? What are you doing here? What are you doing? What are you doing? You know, I'm sorry, Matt. I have to steal this from you. I can't wait for Blackest Night. No, I'm no, no, you can steal it. It's fine. Okay, I am so excited. Like, I am a kid about. hyped up on sugar for the end of Blackest Night. I'm <laughs> freaking out. I cannot wait to leave. White Lantern. White Lantern time, baby. Really? I cannot wait. I'm freaking out. Again, You're it's cool awesome. Blew my mind. That moving on to Dave. Okay, yeah. Oh, okay. Moving something. on to Jay. Jay, please just get this off of my chest. I'm Push freaking out. Uh, real hard. I gotta, I gotta say, I'm a little worried about the end of Black Lantern, just in case they do one of those. Black Knight or Black? Yeah, Black Knight. <laughs> Black Lantern sounds like yeah. racist. <laughs> Are you racist, Jay? Wow. Uh, I mean, well, you know, I mean, the Black Lanterns are the villains, which is... Yeah. John yeah. Stewart, man. It's and then the, 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 the White Lantern's going to come in and save the day. The Great White Lantern. I'm really... If they give him a hood, if I'm, they I'm, give him a hood, then it's going to be priceless. It's going to be priceless. Oh, my God. I'm really worried that the end of Black Blackest Night though is gonna just be like a DC redo where they get to bring back all their characters and the White Lantern just comes along and sprays them with light and then they all come back to life. That might suck. Dan's gone. 
I, 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 I mean, I would be pretty cool with if they just like the white light equaled out at the beginning of time and they just rebooted the whole entire universe. Again? Again. They'll never do it. They'll never yeah. do it. No, I'm talking about like big time reboot. Like it's like, hey, this is day one. Oh. And we go from there. I definitely could see that. Like happening. Ragnarok. Yeah. Where it's like, hey, fun. this is our end of war. Pull of Thor. Right? Yeah, pull, right. pull kind of a Thor Ragnarok. Where Which it's is like, kind of cool. You go to the white light, guess what? Day one, we start brand new, and it goes from there. Definitely. You I can could bring see everybody happening. back and kill everybody again because they're comic there's books. A, yeah, there's a certain mythology to them, I think. But, I mean, it would, I think it would be too big for people to grasp. Yeah. yeah. Well, and it would just, it would just kind of end up being and like a rehashing of the. It would end up being like uh, the Ultimate Universe before Ultimatum, where we're just seeing the same stories again. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, so what I'm looking forward to, I'm looking forward to all the obscure titles that never ever come out. Like, Captain America White. Come on, Jeff. Oh! Jeff. oh come on, Jeff. Give me that some That was my favorite one. That, 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 that poster on the wall is not going to come down. Never. You do uh, so little down. that yeah. is good these days. Give us White. Okay. I know, White was okay. awesome. I said so little. I this is surprising. That. Kevin, isn't this surprising? Okay. I love Captain America White. I it's love Jeff Loeb Jeff, on this book. Jeff he Lowe. hates Loeb more than I, I do. I fucking hate Loeb. Sorry. Why Jeff. are you the only person dropping the F-bomb? Because you don't. Anyway, so yeah, like Captain America White. I'm also looking forward to anything else out of uh, Burly Man, uh, Shaolin Cowboy, and Doc Frankenstein. Both yeah. great, great series. The and, yeah, it's the Wachowski Brothers published. They live in the neighborhood. Make some <laughs> shit, man. Dude, come down, hang out. We'll tell you it's awesome, and then you can make some more, and then I'll just buy it from you. Just do that, please. I so want more of all of this. It's all the last issue of Doc Frankenstein had. The most sacrilegious, tongue-in-cheek, hilarious origin of Yahweh. Oh my god, it was so funny. I'm going to hell for it, but I loved it. I loved every second of it. I need more of it. Uh, that's the stuff I'm looking forward to, the stuff I didn't get enough of this last year. So, uh, who's laughing? I think it'll be me. Yeah. You want to know what I'm looking forward to? Iron Man 2, bitches. Come to theaters. Oh. Midsummer, Iron Man 2. We all know it's going to be good. It's all going to be awesome. Raise that, that roof is far too low. Yeah, it's, 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 I can't yeah, raise for it. It's, it's, it's going to be awesome. So. Ooh, Mickey Rourke! Yeah, for me, Long yeah, Mickey Rourke. It's going to be awesome. Go to Whiplash, me. baby! Everyone's Whiplash! Gonna go on. Whiplash. It's, it's, you know, He's phenomenal. The trailer is out. Check it out. Yeah, go to Apple.com. And it's there's a miniseries there. coming out soon. That's a prequel to the movie. Yeah. So, Iron Man Prequels 2. Prequels are awesome. It's going to be awesome. It's going to make a shit ton of money. And like, Iron Man 3 is going to be great. <laughs> 2010! Yeah! yeah! Two more years, baby! Two more years! Two more years in the days. Oh, okay. Yeah, two Speaking more years. Speaking of which, let's move on.